Oh, oh fine, thanks. It's the maid. Uh, excuse us for our informality, Your Sparrowness, but we don't know the correct form of address. Unlike you, who is wearing one, of course. First off, I am not the laird, I'm his steward. And this is not a dress, it's a kilt. Course it is. Excuse my brother, he's not himself today. Aren't I? No, you're not. And how you expect to become a ghillie, I do not know. Gilly? Yeah, he's a Scottish gamekeeper. I know what a ghillie is. Now get out of it. But, uh, we're... Uh, uh, ah! Get his my foot. No, actually, it was his foot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, Highland Dancing. Nice welcoming committee. And, uh... And who might you be? We're the Chuckle Brothers. Ah, yes. Dan told me about you. You're the pair who are going to look after my albino red deer. Oh, we? Eh? Who are you, then? Duncan, 13th Laird of McClacky. Have you uh, introduced yourself to Fingal, my steward? Some people can't take a hint. He's been in the family for generations. Uh, now we can get out of it once and for all. Uh, uh, um... What have I done? Don't steady on, Pingle. You've soaked my best tweeds. Please forgive me, my lord. It was a complete accident. <sighs> it wasn't. You poured it all over him. Shut your win again. <sighs> Never mind. It could happen to anyone. Show our guest to the Great Hall and I'll look through my case for something to wear. <laughs> you earn the lead. Make yourself comfortable. Oh dear, oh dear. Worms. Checking the locks. Good work, Fingal. Now go and fetch dinner. There's a good chap. Right. Ah, there you are. Everything okay? Excellent. Wonderful. Now, I've arranged for Fingal to serve us dinner in here. Then we can settle down and discuss our plan of action. The estate's in a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. It's going to take something special to get it back on its feet. A bit like this chair. Oh, yes, quite. Actually, I've had an idea already. You have? I have. Marvellous. I knew you were the man I was looking for as soon as I saw you. You did? I could tell by the cut of your jib. Well, I never. Quiet while I tell his lad about my plan. Oh! Dinner is served. It's not much, I'm afraid. Uh, I'll tell you over dinner. Thank you, Fingal. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll serve ourselves. Thank you, Your Grace. Grace? I thought your name was Duncan. Oh! <sighs> no, that's my sister. Uh, gentlemen, let us eat. <laughs> Real country nosh. I'm looking forward to this, Barry. Me too. I'm peckish. <laughs> Um, well, uh, end, middle, or should I cut it lengthways? Whichever's easiest. Uh, across it is, then. <laughs> Do me out of my job, won't they? I'll show them. Now, this plan of yours. It wouldn't involve spending anything much, would it? Um... You see, the last lad, my great-uncle, twice removed, wasn't very good with his money, as you would have probably noticed by the lack of decent furniture. Really? I hadn't noticed. I had. Oh! <sighs> strange, really. Because from what I remember as a lad, the place was full of valuable antiques. One can only assume he had to sell them off. Oh, well. There you go. Tuck in. <sighs> Where are you? I'm down here. Oh, now, now, that won't do. There must be another chair somewhere in this old heap. Why don't you pop along to Fingal's quarters and see if he can find you one? I will. Where are Fingal's quarters? Well, I have no idea. I, I haven't had time to look round properly yet. I, I, I think he lives in the, um, West Wing. Go and have a hunt round, Barry. It can't be far. While you're away, I'll tell the laird about our plan. Our plan? You keep me out of this. I'll see you in a bit. Well, you see, it's like this. I thought we could turn McClacky Castle into a hotel. A hotel? Mm -hmm. Who 
is it? It's me. What do you want? The lad wants you to give me a chair. They not only want my job, now they want my furniture. Just a minute. Aha. Hey, I'll take it and get out of it. Ha. Ah. Can you open the door a bit more, please? Oh, very well. Thank you very much. Uh, I can see they're going to be trouble. Perhaps it's time for the Phantom Piper of McClatty to make an appearance. I've got one. Hang on. Where's my sausage? Oh, I, I didn't want it to go cold. So what did you do with it? I ate it. Hey, very nice sausage. What kind were they? Vegetarian venison, if you must know. What you were having smelt nice. It's off. Tell you what I have got, though. A mug of soup. What type is it? Sprout and nettle. Oh. We've just been discussing changing the castle into a hotel. Have you indeed? Yes, and I must say, I like the idea. The guests can spot the albino red deer in the wood. You'll have to find them first. They're all over the estate. Leave that to me and Barry. We'll track them down. Expert trackers, you know. You know it's the rutting season. Don't worry about that. If we see any, we'll step over it. And we'll have our wellies on. Well... I suggest an early night. It's very nice. This room was the very room that Macpherson spent his last night. Macpherson? Better known as the Fandom Piper of McClaggy. It was in that very bed that he met his end. Well, there's plenty of room for it. What happened to him? Strangled by his own bagpipes. What a way to go. Some say that on a certain night of the year, you can still hear the ghostly sound of his pipes echoing round the room. What night would that be? Tonight, as it happens. It is said a terrible fate awaits anyone who hears it. Oh dear, oh dear. No such thing. <coughs> I'll take this side. You're not going to bed. How can you sleep at a time like this? Watch me. Well, if you think I'm going to sleep, you've got another thing coming. Do what you like. Ha <laughs> ha. We'll just give him five minutes. It's a phantom. An old Tom, more like. I think I've ever seen anything like it. Thank you. The hat should be the other way round. Oh. How's that? Don't forget, if you can't find any deer and you get lost, good. Ah, oh, yes. Everything's slipping into place now. As soon as we find those deers, everything will be hunky-dory. Go on, Barry. It'll be hunky-dory all right when they see what I've got planned for them.
I don't understand it. We've been all over the estate and not so much as an antler. We've heard plenty, though. Hmm. Let's find that Fingal. I think I need to ask him some questions. Is this it? Yes. He must be out. Come on. Follow me. Are you sure we should be doing this? Of course. Follow me. Hello? There's nobody here. Let's see if he's in the garden. Just a minute. Does anything strike you odd about this room? No. It all looks very nice to me. Exactly. It does look very nice. Something's just struck me. Something will strike us again if Fingal catches us in here. Come How on. come the rest of the house is as empty as Rotherham United's trophy cabinet, and yet this room is like a palace? I think we need to ask some questions. Well, can we ask them later, please? Let's get out of here. Ooh. Why don't you stay and ask them now? What are you doing, sneaking round my private quarters? Um, can we take 50-50? Phone a friend? Out. Just a minute. It's us that wants the answer. Like, what's our furniture doing in there? That's the audience. What do you think it's doing in there? Hang on, Paul. He's trying to confuse us. I want to know. Oh, yes? But I suppose it can wait till later. Come on, Barry, let's go and see the lad. <laughs> wait a minute. It's no good. I'll have to tell you. Better come in. He was going to sell it. You won't tell his lordship, will you? Or he'll give it back. I don't know. That's bordering on treason. But if you do, he'll sack me and I've got nowhere to go. Serves you right. Yeah, but what about the deer? No deer, no hotel. I was coming to that. Well... I've sold them. Well, we'll have to get them back. Who to? Tokyo Zoo. Tokyo Zoo? That's in Japan. We'll not get them back from there in a hurry. You're right. I suppose we'll just have to muddle through. Until then, I've had an idea. Uh-oh. What do you think? Well, it's possible if you squint. Not much movement there. Hmm. Put some life into it. That'll show them. 